In this video, I'll demonstrate the Sign Distance Field Baker tool, part of my Game Tools Blender extension. It's a simple tool, so this will be a brief overview. Alright, I have a basic test scene made up of several cubes. I'll select them all and open the SDF Baker panel from the Game Tools sidebar. In the Voxels panel, I can adjust the offset in meters. A0 offset places the distance field right against the objects, which usually isn't ideal. You generally want to sample the distance field from a bit of distance, so some offset is recommended. Next, I can set the texture width and height for each slice, as well as the total number of slices. In the texture panel, I can choose the distance mode, actual outputs the real distance in world units, negative when inside a geometry. Normalized maps the distance to a range of minus 1 to 1 based on the maximum distance. Remapped does the same but maps it to a 0 to 1 range, which is useful for storing in 8-bit textures. I can also change the texture file name. The order of the slices in the flipbook texture can be customized here. And I can set how many slices to distribute per row. Since I'm generating 64 slices, Setting 8 slices per row creates an 8x8 flipbook, with each slice being 32x32 32 32 pixels. Each slice can be flipped vertically or horizontally if needed. The distance field can also be unsigned, which is useful for flat meshes or similar cases. The blend file must be saved for the export settings to become available. Once saved, I can configure the export path. In the mesh panel, units can be converted from meters to centimeters for Unreal Engine compatibility. The y-axis can also be inverted to match UE's coordinate system. Now I like to create the merged mesh to ensure the distance field is generated from the correct selection. The overall SDF volume can also be exported as a mesh. And that's basically it. Click bake. This generates and exports the distance field volume and creates the merged mesh, which may be inverted depending on the settings, as expected. Now in Unreal Engine, I'll import the FBX without any special options. I'll also import the texture and set it to HDR 16-bit. Then I'll right-click on it and create a volume texture. Configure the tile settings if needed, its format, and voila. Using this mesh, I can sample the distance field via UVW coordinates generated from its bounding box. To visualize the distance field in the simplest way, I can use a volume material combined with volumetric fog like this. Neat. The main thing to keep in mind is that the algorithm isn't perfect and does not handle intersecting meshes very well. If you run into any strange results while using this tool, try voxelizing your meshes first. That's about it.